Well, look who we have in the house. Gina's in the house. Hi. 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 How are you? Good, thank you. How about yourself? Thanks. I'm doing pretty good. Four years. Good. I'm Four years I'm following you. It's nice to meet you. Oh, likewise. So what do you got for me tonight? Okay, well, your content tonight is spot on to what I'm oh. going through at the moment. So okay. let me just make this a little louder. Okay. Um, I'm with my guy for two and a half years. Okay. And fireworks, great. We have so much in common. We're the same age, same childhood, pretty much, growing up. Um, and, uh, you know, he explained to me that he wants the same things that I do. You know, basically, okay. we're both divorced. We both have kids. We're both okay. uh, intentional. And uh, But the last year and a half, it's been getting a little a little touchy like i'm starting to see some like avoidant characteristics now i know what i am i know that i have anxious codependent you know i'm trying to be more secure but i think when we have this dynamic going on we um okay. set each other off and you know it's just been like a little bit of a roller coaster and right now okay. we're in, we're currently in a separation a little bit. We're still still talking a little bit, but taking a break. Okay, so let me be clear. Like, let's recap. So this is a two year relationship, but the yeah. last year and a half has been a bit contentious. There's been yes. some there's been some avoidant behavior by him, which means pulling back emotionally yeah. and being yeah. walled off. And you've been a little bit anxious, even codependent, where you're probably feels like you might be smothering him or overwhelming him in this space and you're misaligned with each other. And at this moment in time, now let me get clarity on this break. When did this break happen? Um, just recently, uh, we had a trip planned to Florida, which he okay, planned. Just, that, right, just for clarity, the word recently could mean three months ago or it could have been oh, three sorry. minutes ago. Um, we had an argument two weeks ago and it's been- Okay, two weeks two weeks since we've, well, we haven't seen each other. Well, he lives, we're in New York City in different okay. boroughs, but his work schedule, my work schedule, we don't always see each other. Um, okay. Our, you know, lately it's been, uh, he's, he's, he's almost ready to retire. So he's been doing a lot of side work and he's under a lot you of mind stress. sharing your ages with me? You don't have to, but no, it's mind? fine. We're both, we're both 54. Okay. 54. Okay. And, uh, is he divorced? Yes. Does he have children? Yes, he has two. How old are his children? 23 and 19. And okay. I still haven't met them. And I'm. Two years you haven't that. met them? Yeah. Okay. Why did I react to that? Um, because if, if you're all in, then you should include somebody into your life 100%. And I've done okay. that. I've done that on my end. He knows all my family, my okay. friends, my children. Um, and I didn't get that back because I feel he's he's telling me he's having an issue with his older daughter okay. and right now is not the not, not the right time the first year it was because he wasn't ready so I, I'm trying to be patient but I, I just feel like that's the one thing that's missing but so, we do have other issues you know you know you have what we do have some other issues okay you know, that so, I guess that stem off of that okay so well, let's go with what's your question. I have lots of thoughts, but what's your question? <laughs> My question is, being that we're separated, um, he said he needs some time to figure himself out. Um, I basically, I've been to therapy. I've been to meetings. I've, I've done so much research on my style, my, my yeah. uh, attachment style. Um, okay. And I know what I'm about. And I'm really through the years it's it, it's come up and you know and not been so great for me but um i really am working towards being more secure but i feel that we feed off of each other so my question is i don't know if he's coming back this time okay <laughs> and so you want me to pull out my crystal ball yes, and please. <laughs> okay uh, I'm, I'm just right. basically i want you to me. okay Okay, realistically, can I honestly answer no, that? No, of question? course not. No. Okay, so let's try another question. Okay, another question is um, right now that he's being distant, you know, again, but 
he is contacting me a little small talk here and there, I guess, just to keep the connection. Um, okay. Have you seen this before this dynamic where they don't come back? Like, I, I, I know you can't tell me if he is coming back, but um, well, in your, in your history. I mean, well, see. even John Gray, who wrote the book, Men Are From Mars, Women yes. Are From Venus, yeah. says that men have what's known as a rubber band effect. And it's somewhere between six to 12 weeks that when you've been apart, they rubber band back. They, they come right. back. OK, but that doesn't. OK, let's just assume that he does come back on his own. OK. How does that solve the problem? Like what? Okay, so let me, hold on for a second, Gina. You said, I need time to figure myself out, okay? Right. Like he's 54 years old. He hasn't figured himself out yet. Like what does he need to figure out? Now, is it himself or is it the relationship? I'm not sure, but he- Well, wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna- Okay, you're not sure. I want you to dig deep. I want you to close your eyes for a second. I know, is there a way to put the phone down? Um, I guess. Or you can't yeah. put it high enough to give that look you want. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, I want the. <laughs> okay, you know what? Everybody, everybody is loving on you right now, so don't worry about uh -huh. it, okay? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so what do you think he's trying to figure out? Well, I'm going to tell you what he told me. So then maybe okay. we can work from there. So okay. the last, the last conversation we had, I was, I guess I was probing a little bit just to see like where his head is at. Um, yeah. He said that he does not want to hurt me. He wants to make me happy. He needs to figure, he knows he has some issues and he wants to figure them out because he wants to have a, ha a healthy relationship. So I, I believe him. But I think that whatever that blockage is, is is just holding him back. Maybe he's just afraid of commitment down the road. You know, marriage left a bad taste in his mouth. Yeah. And he, I, I understand that part. You know, I had a long-term relationship after my divorce. That, yeah. that left a bad taste in my mouth, too. But I'm willing to try again, you know. But when so we women, okay, so I'm going to say a lot of things you're not going to like. I know. I know. But I'm not going to make them about you. I'll be nice tonight and not make it about you, but I'm going to give you my perception <laughs> Come on, I'm about loyal, this. I'm a loyal follower. <laughs> so, sadly, I've observed that women will spend five and a half years hoping that magic fairy dust will change a relationship. Okay. Like yeah. somehow, if I do nothing to upset it, it's all going to work out. Okay. Right. So right. you're, you know, you're two years in of that five and a half year average that I've witnessed. Okay. And that's an average. Okay. okay. He doesn't sound like he clearly knows it's, there's an irony that what did I say in this video? For a man to lead, he has to be committed to yes. commitment. I love okay? that. I love that. And if he doesn't know what he wants, he's winging it. Hence why he has to figure things out. Okay. But you see, he isn't going to be doing anything to figure this out. It's not like he's, I doubt he's talking to a therapist. I doubt he's talking to a trusted um, coach or counselor or advisor. I doubt he's doing anything, but just feeling how he feels when you're apart. And this is where the rubber band effect happens when you're long enough apart from someone. Now, the sad thing is, People just go on dating apps right away. I mean, he could be on a dating app right now. You guys are officially on a, I'm not saying he is. I, I mean, know, but, but I, you I guys wanna... are on a break. So he officially could be doing that. Right. Um, you know. Well, I want to believe him. Here's the thing. This is the tricky part, okay? You could do what the dating coaches say. Just live your life. Just show yourself on Instagram having a great time. So he sees what a great time you're having. He's going to come chase you. Right. Okay. That's bullshit in my mind. I mean, well, let me be clear. <laughs> Absolutely live your life to the fullest as an individual and human being. Yeah. Be in your sovereignty. Be in your power. I'm a big advocate for that. What I want to suggest to you is to do what grownups do. What do grown-ups do in circumstances like this? Well, my idea of a grown-up would be 
let's discuss this because this is something not to be taken lightly. You know, if we are talking about a possible future, then then you have a grown up this. conversation. We have had a few, but you know, like uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, <laughs> I highly doubt you've had the kind of grown up conversations. I highly doubt you've talked about a relationship path, a path to commitment. I highly doubt you talk about being with each other. Sure, you. I, I suspect you talk about being with each other, but you don't have a plan, a path to commitment. Without a path to commitment, and what does commitment look like for you? Now, you've heard my narrative. I'm looking for a relationship where we spend three or four days and nights a week together, doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, traveling together, teamwork, building skills, both in our personal, our professional life, intimacy, both physical and emotional intimacy that leads to either moving in together or getting married. That's a plan. Yes. Okay. I'm, yeah. I, I say that right up front. This is my plan. Um, if we don't we, get the plan, then I get off the road and I go to another road. You know, I go on a different road with someone else. Well, I believe that we're on the same page. He told me he's on the same page with me. The last. Well, what is the, okay, so describe to me what this same page is. Um, That we both want to work on ourselves and so we can be better for the relationship. And, you know, after his retirement goes through and, and that's all settled and... Okay, so you come together, live together, because we live about an hour apart now. So it's okay. So I'm going to say something. I'm going to be a little tongue in cheek, but this is what I heard. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Okay. (laughs) Work on yourself. Describe to me in detail what that looks like for each one of you. Um, for him, I'm he he wasn't clear on exactly what, how he's going to work on himself. For me, I know I have to, you know, work on my self-esteem, my confidence to, to show up better in this relationship and be not suffocating. If, if that's the way I'm coming off. Um, just, yeah, but when you, you say work is, on yourself, okay. It's one thing to have awareness. Okay. Yeah. Working oneself is to really catch yourself when you're falling in the rabbit hole and getting yourself out before you fall in, you grab a branch. Okay. That's working on yourself. But do you actually have the tools to work on yourself? But more importantly, you guys said you're going to work on yourselves, which really, I, I, I know you might watch one of my videos and think you're working on yourself, which is at least one thing. Okay. It's something. <laughs> um, I do but I'm talking about true. Hear me out. I'm talking about true vulnerability with one another. What was I saying in the beginning of this broadcast? I was talking incessantly about the fears. So until you get granular into what are the fears he's experiencing, Right. And start to get him to emote what these fears are and have discussions around these fears. All you're doing is wah, 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 That's wah. True. And That's how do you all get that them? is. It's a lot of going around them? in circles. How do you get them to open up if they're so closed off? That's so my, that's I'm my a big, okay, so I'm a big proponent of most human beings have weak emotional maturity and poor relationship skills. I'm a gigantic advocate for getting a mediator, a counselor, a therapist, or professional to help talk about the potential growth of this relationship, to use the tools. But you must be committed to commitment. If you're not committed to commitment, you're just winging it. You're passive. You're, you have to, be, this is where now the real work comes in. Yes. And you're not going to like this. The work is for you to gain absolute clarity. Forget him in your life. Get clarity on what it is you want. Get it, what it is you want, okay? Be yes. so radically clear. If this person doesn't fit what you want, then you say, I appreciate our time together. I'm going to move on, okay? Yeah, I mean, you it, have it, I, I get but it. You're, I but you're I unwilling it. to do, I doubt you're willing to do that well, because- I love him. You know, I, I do love him. I do have a lot of love for him. And it's hard. Obviously, it's harder to walk away from something. It, look, it, it looks better on paper. <laughs> okay. You say the word love. Okay. It's a beautiful word. It's a beautiful word. I think you're attached to him. There's a well, difference. I've, 
that. Well, I am. I you am. even I'll, use I'll the word codependent. You use the word codependent. You are attached to him. And you're interpreting that as love because real love is two people working together as a team yes. to build something together. That's real love in my book. But real love, more importantly, is wiping the vomit on, off the person's face when they're going through chemotherapy. You haven't even met his children. No. So he hasn't done any, has, what has he done to integrate you into his life? Um, You've done all the work. Um, well, I, I mean, I went to a wedding. I met some of his family, <laughs> but okay. you know, his children weren't there. I think that was the only reason I was there. But I guess I, what, you know, what I, concerns me is I would be fucking furious. I, I am. And I'm trying to keep that at, you know, Okay, so you're not level. making you're not advocating for your needs. You are not at so let's talk about your needs. What do you need out of this relationship? Tell me a need. Uh well, I do need someone who's who can open up to me. Um okay, hold on, hold me. on. I'm gonna yeah. write these down. So okay. one is open up. <laughs> yeah, open up give me another me. need. Um Need some a little more affection. He's not that affection. affectionate anymore. He used to be, but now it kind okay, of what's been, a bit. Okay. What um, other needs do you have? I need to feel like I am a part of his life 100% as I have. Integration. Been. Integration. Okay. Um, do you need consistency? Yes, absolutely. Okay. What other needs? Let's talk about these needs. Well, physical you know, intimacy. Um, what have you guys, when was the last time you guys had sex? Uh, I think about two and a half weeks ago. Okay. Was the last time you saw him you had sex? Yeah. The last Did time you want I saw more? him. Well, you said you wanted affection, which is equivocally is, is, is in the same genre of physical. You wanted affection. So okay. you want him to open up. You want him to be yeah. affectionate. You want to integrate. You want consistency. What else do you want? Sure. I, I, I want well what do you need? Need. What do you oh, need? need? I need. Okay. I need someone who is has the same goals as I do. Okay. So we'll future. call that life vision. Life vision, values. I mean, he's a good father. I mean, I know he's got good family values. So all right. So let's talk about values for a second. Okay. Values. You know, you can Google list of values and there's something like 120 some odd different things listed. Okay? okay. You know, most everybody looks at the word values as morality, but I think a value, for example, is health as an example is a value. Is important, healthy lifestyle important to you? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So that's a value. Okay. As an example, charity is a value. Punctuality is a value. Reciprocity is a value. Yes. So when you're talking about values, I invite you to put together a list of your top 10 values and see if you align with him. So we'll put that on the list here. So let's stop okay. right here with six. Okay. Can someone write this down in the chat box? Her first thing she wants, she needs is that he opens up. Can someone write that in the chat box? Number two, he's affectionate. He's affectionate. This is her needs. Number three, integrates her into his life. Open up, affectionate, integration, consistency. Now, I'm going to suspect up until this point, you guys were in your mutual dysfunctionality, you were consistent because you said one and a half years, this has been rough. But I'm going to assume that you've been relatively consistent with one another. Is that right? Yes. Okay. It's just recently that happened hasn't opened up. So um, consistent. yeah. Well, well, he has a lot of stress in his life. It's been he got okay. hurt. He had surgery. He's got he's yeah. got to retire, and you know it's it's causing a lot of stress. And he wasn't ready okay. to retire, and he's got some other. So is stress a valid excuse for not being committed to commitment? No. No, because I told him I'm walking right beside you. I'm here to support you. He said when I when I by the way, I, Gina. I, yes. If the penis gets to regularly go inside the vagina, you have every right to ask for what you want. Okay. Right. So I want to finish this list: life, okay. vision, and values. Okay. 
So open up, affectionate, integration, consistency, life, vision, and values. When are you going to have this conversation with them to talk about these six things? Well, I'm ready now to have the conversation. I've been ready. I've been ready a year ago. You know, I'm waiting for him to, I guess, being, I don't know, maybe he's just scared of the future commitment like right what we so have what, right do you, now. what do you think okay so now i'm going to ask you one more question what do you think needs to change for him to decide he wants to commit to commitment i think he needs to maybe seek out some help like you know to talk to somebody he's really yeah. not interested i mean i i found uh, you know i've been scouring well, here's where you're struggling you, I'm going to just my projection, or my, let me reframe that, my perception, which could be a projection, okay, but I suspect that you are waiting for him to say, I choose you, as if that's going to be the reason for him to change, okay? You're hoping that he, that, pardon me? I'm conflicted because- Well, I because here's the problem with that narrative, okay? He has to change himself before he can choose you. Right. You're holding space that he should just choose me, right? But you have uh, to let him go for him to work on himself. And it could take years. I know that. So so I, that's I why, remember I said five, five and a half years? Pardon me? No, no, I think I have a little bit of denial there. By the way, do me a favor. Never do that in front of a man. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm just being tongue in cheek. That's a joke I, I heard on Cheers heard years before, ago. But I apologize. <laughs> no, no, no. It's always a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, just a joke. I know. Uh, the wait a minute. Regina <laughs> says, listen to, jo listen to Jonathan as last time I didn't go and got ghosted and hurt. So she's yeah. Okay. I'm hearing reverb from oh. me. Okay. okay. So, so you're not going to like this. You have a grown-up conversation. You talk about commitment. It's two years. This is plenty enough time to know whether or not he wants to commit to you. He doesn't need more time to figure you out. He knows who you are. You have a conversation about the important needs that you have. And if he's unable to meet those needs, then it's time to suggest that we take a break, no communication for, with, for, to, with one another for a minimum of six months. Okay. Now, I doubt you're going to do my advice because you're too hooked. Well, you know what? The thing is, he he's he's not trying to figure me out. He's trying to figure himself out. That's That was what he said. He doesn't need more. T okay. Then he should have figured himself out before he got you involved. It, because what you guys are experiencing... Okay. What do I talk about on my videos incessantly? The users, the spenders, and the grower builders. Which one do you think he is? Right now, he just feels like a spender. Yeah, he's you know, a spender. But, but, but his, at, his, his, his verbiage is grower builder. And I believe, you know, I want to. But his actions are grower builder. A grower builder's actions are commensurate. You've been together two years for a year and a half it's been shaky okay you're a year you're going, yeah about, you're, about a year it's been shaky. Well, 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 no you can't change the you no 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 i'm sorry we've been together two and a half years yeah and the past, about a little over a year has been shaky so I'm well you sorry. said a year and a half but I, i'm apologies. sorry i okay. i'm nervous <laughs> I okay nervous. well i you're on the hot seat so you're yes, taking I a know. lot of heat so. <laughs> i feel it I first feel off it. i want you to know that we are all proud of you. Okay. This isn't easy talking no. about this. This isn't easy, but it seems like you're constantly defending him and you're not defending yourself. See, you're not standing up for yourself. This is all about your self-worth and all about making him happy. Not, not that you're, you know, it's like you're waiting for him to make a choice instead of you making a choice for yourself. So my invitation for you is to have this grown up conversation. It's a shit or get off the pot moment. And if he doesn't, if you two don't join up, then it's best for you to move on. You're 54 years old. Let me tell you something. There are women 65 years old right now listening to this going, 
fucking shit. I wished I did this when I was 54 because they don't, 10 years later, it's a lot harder. The dating marketplace is a clusterfuck out there. It's okay. not fun. Okay. I know. I know. So you make a stand for your sovereignty now, do the inner work so you can attract a partner who is committed to commitment. That's what you need. This guy isn't. He's not ready. He's got a lot of chaos going on in his life. He and does. certainly the fact that he hasn't introduced you to his children isn't a red flag. That's called a deal breaker. And I don't care what excuse he has. That's a man who demonstrates that you're not important to him. Okay. I because a man who value, a man who's a grower builder values enough to say, Hey, this is my woman. I want you to see who she is to his children, the most important people in his life. So I'm going to take a deep breath. You're going to take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. I want you to let it out. Ah. Yeah. Take another deep breath and let it out. Ah. ah. <laughs> Lastly, take another deep breath. Let it out. Ah. And I want you to say the following. Jonathan, I make a stand for my sovereignty. Jonathan, I make a stand for my sovereignty. Jonathan, I make a stand to be in my power. Jonathan, I make a stand to be in my power. Jonathan, I will decide what my needs are and not give excuses to his needs. Jonathan, I will decide what my needs are and not give in to his excuses. Focus on his needs. Okay. His, his excuses. His excuses. <laughs> his excuses. Can I get an amen? Amen. Oh, my God. All right. Thank you so All much. All right. I, Can I reach into the camera and give you a big, gigantic yes, Jonathan Bear please, hug? Yes, Yes, thank you. All right. Thanks thank for you. being on. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Bye-bye. All right. Donate to the Connor Asley Scholarship yes, Fund, okay? Again. All yes, right. Thank right you. now. Okay. All right. Big hugs. <laughs> thank now. you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. You know, Gina came to us with a very common tale. She is attached to a person she's been to, and she's, a, to some degree... We double down in, in giving excuses and making, not, not making excuses and investing time in someone who is conflicted. Ladies, I'm here to encourage everyone to recognize that the most important man you should ever date is a man committed to commitment. He has a plan. That's what it means for a man to lead the relationship. He has a plan on commitment. If a man doesn't have a plan, that means he's winging it. It is the worst person to be following in the marketplace. So when I sh suggested to her, to her to make a stand for her sovereignty, to make a stand for her power, to make a stand for her needs, this is all about her. It's not about him. And I'm inviting her to step into her power. The reason why I wrote my book, what the heck is self-love anyway? A journey of personal development, self-help, and spiritual work. There's a link below to get a copy of my book. Finally plugged it tonight. Is because if we're not loving on ourselves, we can't be a good partner to anyone anyway. When we are in our power, we are actually a better partner. Now, that means we're going to rebuff people who are not in their sovereignty. And that's okay. You want to like people because one of the most important values in your life is to love yourself. And if he's conflicted, let him go off on his own. Let him go off on his hero's journey to figure himself out. You don't need to be a part of that. Okay? So, Gina, I invite you to stand in your power. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating? Please let me know if it is. Post a comment below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on what I shared with her. As always, if you find value in my videos, please hit that like button. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new videos. And if you want to connect with me directly, there's links below to schedule a discovery call with me to see if working with a coach is right for you. There's a link to join my group called Midlife Love Mastery, where you can have direct access to me on a regular basis. There's a link to follow me on Instagram to get the books I recommend all listed below.